what is up you guys it is parker here with deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy okay so um i'm coach jordan y'all have seen me inside the creative coaching group i'm also the owner and designer of designs by jordan i had one more lemon left over and I want to make a door hanger out of it. On this door hanger right here, it's got a definite spot where you can put something. So I like to keep my um, jute hanger right here. I this I just use to hang every. I had used it to hang it, um, but I want to add a little bit of greenery right here and a bow. So with that in mind, y'all, I kind of scourged around, rummaged around my stash here. Um, this is one of my favorite florals that I get at Michael's. This is a leftover piece of 60919. So I'm just going to trim that down. And because this is only one piece of that 60919, y'all, I'm able to um, manipulate those flowers and stems to kind of go the direction I want them to. So I'm not going to be using a lot of them. I've got... Um, this is actually perfect exactly the way I want that. So y'all, that one piece of 60919 that I had left over, look how pretty that uh, just looks perfect just like that. I mean, we're still going to make a bow, but y'all know I can't make something without a bow. So we're really just going to layer pieces together. So this is our first piece. And then our second piece are these um, boxwood So, y'all, we just layered those two pieces, those two stems together, and that 160919 together. And then I have a lemon stem here as well. The importance of fluffing out your stems or your florals, um, like, there's such an importance in that you don't want to just stick your stem like right on top of that that doesn't look um kind of natural i mean i'm i know these are all artificial stems but you want to bring some life to your florals you don't want them just like oh hey okay i'm here no you want to make sure that you're really bringing some life to them i'm going to trim down this stem and i'm going to set that right in the middle of all these of all of these stems and y'all that's how quick and easy this is and y'all I just used a zip tie to tie those in and now look y'all that's exactly where I want that piece right there where you can still somewhat see some of the leaves um our bow isn't going to be big and overpowering i still want to add a bow to it um and it's going to be kind of like a funky bow so but y'all that's exactly the way i want that to look and i am going to go ahead and zip tie that and the other thing too i like about um projects like this is you really don't have to have glue Y'all, sometimes I'm impatient. I don't feel like waiting for that thing to heat up. So I always kind of have some of this stuff on hand, like um, some door hangers or whatever it may be. Something that I don't have to use a lot of glue on. That's what we have so far. But now I want to make our bow to kind of match this. So like I said, we're kind of making um, a funky bow. So we're going to make a tail. Pinch. We're going to make a loop, and that loop is about 8 inches. Yeah, 8 inches. And then we're just going to cut another tail. So we're only doing one loop, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back with another ribbon, and now we're going to go the opposite direction. So I have my bow like this. 
now the tail part's going to come up. And we're going to measure another 8 inches. And I've started measuring out my loops because a lot of people have always asked me, like, how long do you, how long is your loops? So next, we're bringing in our yellow cabana stripe, making another tail. And we're going to measure the same size, another 8 inches for my ribbon loop, pinch and twist. Y'all, there's such an importance in pinching and twisting. Even if your ribbon has, it's a solid colored ribbon, um, you always wanna make sure you just twist it. Making a tail, let's see. Making another eight inch loop. Okay, and now I want to add in um, a two and a half inch ribbon, but I don't want to add in that two and a half inch ribbon as a loop. I just want a tail, so I think I'm going to have to measure it out right here. About 13 inches, y'all. It's about 13 inches. So like if you're making um, a ribbon tail, y'all, maybe sometimes you have... Like I do, I actually show y'all. Well, I accidentally cut too many. So actually, that's what we can use. We can use this piece. Even though I cut that one, I'm just finding the center of that ribbon. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that. And as well as the center of this ribbon. Y'all, and I know sometimes it's really hard to do this one-handed. We're going to do it. Okay. So I'm bringing that in. And y'all look how that bow looks. And it's perfect for this project. We're going to bring in another zip tie. Kind of stacked on top of all those other zip ties. And now... We are just going to cinch this shut, going to try and make sure and hold that bow while I cinch it, because I don't want those ribbons moving anywhere that I don't need them to be. Okay. Look how cute that looks. Just something simple, quick, easy.